Hi all, hope you are doing fine and well. Today we are going to discuss the poem Father and Son by Cat Stevens. This poem belongs to the category of life in your anthology. Now who is Cat Stevens? Father and Son is a popular song written and performed by English songwriter Cat Stevens, now known as Yusuf Islam, on his 1970 album T for the Philemon. The song frames the heartbreaking exchange between a father not understanding the son's desire to break away and shape a new life, and the son who cannot really explain himself but knows that it's time for him to seek his own destiny. Stephen sings in a deeper register for the father's lines while using a higher one for those of the son. So let's go to the poem. Now the first part is sung by the father. Father gives a typical parental advice for the son. It's not time to make a change. Just relax, take it easy. You're still young. That's your fault. There's so much you have to know. Find a girl, settle down. If you want, you can marry. Look at me. I'm old, but I'm happy. Now the father is trying to give a typical parental advice for the son. The father believes that the son is still young and it's his fault. Here young means he's not mature enough. Now the father has grown old. He thinks that the youth is ambition but the age is experience. So uh, he says that there's so much you have to know. Find a girl, settle down. The father believes that marrying somebody will make him settle down. Make him more calm. I was once like you are now and I know that it's not easy to be calm when you have found something going on. But take your time, think a lot. Why? Think of everything you have got. For you will still be here tomorrow, but your dreams may not. Now, this is the fault with the younger generation. Now, this causes the gap between your generation and the younger generation. Because youth always they are very ambitious. They run after dreams. Today they want to be somebody and tomorrow they want to be somebody else. But the father has passed this stage and he can understand what is going inside the son. But he failed to comprehend that thing. Now this part is sung by the son and son shows his inner conflict. How can I try to explain? Because when I do, he turns away again. It's always been the same, same old story. From the moment I could talk, I was ordered to listen. Now, that's the way I know that I have to go away. I know that I have to go. Now, the son cannot tolerate what the father is saying. Because, you know, he was never given a chance to speak up. Now, this shows the unfathomable gap between the third generation and the younger generation. So it's always the same, same old story. The father is repeating the same thing. The son, he is very ambitious and he is very radical. He knows things are changing and he wants to explore the things outside. So he wishes to go away. Now father is again giving the same advice. It's not time to make a change. Just sit down and take it slowly. You're still young, that's your fault. There's so much you have to go through. Find a girl, settle down. If you want, you can marry. Look at me, I'm old, but I'm happy. Now he says that he's old, but he's contented with his life. He's happy with what he has got. He thinks that marrying and settling down would solve his problem. And it would calm him down. He's uh, very rebellious. The son is rebellious. So the father thinks that if the son marries and settles down, it would solve his problems. All the times that I cried, keeping all the things I knew inside, it's hard, but it's harder to ignore it. If they were right, I would agree, but it's them. They know not me. Now there's a way that I know that I have to go away. I know I have to go. Now you can see their ideas uh, are clashing with each other. So the son has different ideologies. But the father is giving some different advice. So he believes that he should go away. Now this part is again sung by the son in a very high pitch. 
Now, if you look at the tone of the son, it shows how impatient he is and also his expectations. He's very ambitious, as I told you before. And the tension, the tension is rising in his voice. Frustration, he's frustrated with what he has got right now. And also his anger and he's very radical, rebellious. Now, if you look at the father's tone, father is very calm, relaxed, and he's calm and very rational towards life. So if you look at the themes of this poem, as I told before also, you can see the unfathomable gap between the elder generation and younger generation. Also conflict in different ideologies. Lack of mutual understanding can also be seen here. Why I'm saying so? Because the father cannot understand the son and son cannot understand what the father is saying. Now, if you look at the techniques, so you can see repetition, father's words are repeated again and again. And also you can see alliteration, assonance and internal rhyming. Now that's the way I know that I have to go away. Um, all this time I have cried keeping all the things I knew inside. See, away and way, cried inside. So you can see internal rhyming there. Also, if you look at the language, the language is simple and conversational language. It can be assumed that the son's response to father is an internal monologue. I hope you got a brief idea about the poem. So, hope to meet you in the next lesson. Thank you.